Hey everybody, uh, this is Scott Robertson with Made the Best Brand Win on Intertalk Media. We're here at the NAMM Show 2019 and we're here with Derek from Vanguard Audio Labs. Derek, welcome. Thanks for having me, man. I really appreciate it's it. It's day four. We're excited to see you here before noon, one o'clock. It's good. Yes, they, definitely. You know, they always say the NAMM Show starts with a Bloody Mary and a groan, you know, uh, on day four. But uh, you look like you're here, so, you, you know, you're good. So either you're... Was it was it like did you party all night? Oh, go, definitely you... not. Okay. I, mean, I, I mean, it's the Nam show, so I have no voice and run on about four or five hours of sleep a night, but love the whole thing. Very nice, you know? very nice, man. Well, cool. Well, we're you know we're we're here at the show. We're talking about um, you, you've got some new products, I believe, that you wanna you wanna show us. It's a trade show after all, so why don't you show us what Vanguard's got up oh, its wow. sleeve this, this year? We're just getting the spoilers out of the way now, huh? Let's do it, man. All right, so this is our new V7 microphone. Look at that, beauty. Um, it's a FET microphone, transformered. Uh, this is kind of our next evolution. Before this, we've been making affordable stuff, the best possible bang for your buck, and this is saying we're gonna just try to make the best, most versatile FET mic in the world, all analog. I'm an analog guy, personally. Yeah. So. Nine patterns on the front, pretty cool. And then um, also on the back, uh, 7140 roll off, a negative 10, negative 20 pad, blah, blah, blah. This is the cool part. So this is the capsule in our V13. It's a really fantastic custom voice capsule. We've worked a long time on tuning it. And cool. um, then if you just do this for a bit. Now this capsule pops off and you can put on this capsule, which is one of the other ones we're working on, which is a U47 style capsule variant. So now you have another entirely different capsule on there. You can screw it on and it's like a brand new microphone. We're working on two potential other capsule variants. Nice. The componentry inside is top notch. This is all custom. Um, trust me on this. It took me about a year and a half of fighting different problems with it in terms of trying to figure out how we can fit these giant transformers and capacitors into this microphone. Um, mm -hmm. But we're very, very excited about it, and it's going to debut between two and three thousand dollars, depending on how many heads it comes with. Very, very cool. And um, uh, you know, how long have you guys been in, in the industry making mics? And who are your customer? Who are your best customers? Well, we've been in the industry. We started in 2013, so it's been about six years now. Mm -hmm. But we only released our first microphone two and a half years ago, because in my opinion, if you're going to make something original, it's going to take some time. Mm -hmm. And so the best way to develop microphones is testing on real sessions in nice. the real world, listening, tweaking, moving on to the next part, and repeat, wash, rinse, and repeat 20, 30, 40 times, however many it takes, until the microphone is the very best sound you think you can get. Very, so very cool. as far as best customers, we've got, I mean, it's so interesting. Um, I, we made this initially because me and Ken are both studio rats. And we wanted to make mics that we'd be happy to use in our own studios, on our own music, and our own records. And a lot of studio guys are in. Um, Dave Way, he engineers for Gwen Stefani, did a lot of late Michael Jackson stuff, Christina Aguilera, mm -hmm. Prince. I mean, his credits list is as long as my arm. So we've got guys like him and Boris Milan, a six-time Latin Grammy winner. He just won his sixth Latin Grammy and came to visit us at the booth. I got to meet him for the first time after two years. That was cool. Cool. But we also have... Um, voiceover guys, so Scott Rummel, who does basically every trailer in Hollywood. <laughs> um, if you're at the theater and you see five previews, four of them are done by Scott. And he's using our V13 on his voice. Um, Bill Rogers and Cammie Dixon, who do a lot of the voiceovers for all the Disney parks. You're starting to hear our microphones in the Disney parks, which is pretty cool. Wow. And then even live stuff. Um, Andy Grammer's tour has a couple of our mics on it on hi-hat in the front of house. Very mic. cool. Um, one went out on the Maroon 5 tour, so um, kind of all over the place. We even have a couple podcasters as well, which is kind of up your guys' alley. So. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And, um, and what are your customers, uh, you know, there's a, there's a million microphones out there. Yes. You know, so what is um, unique and special about Vanguard? Well, um, I'll try and keep it short because nah, I really love next talking hour. about my mics. <laughs> hour, hour, hour and a half, whatever, whatever works for you. I, I could talk about microphones forever. Um, for one... The first thing we try and do is say, you're not paying for marketing, you're not paying for floor to ceiling, 50 by 50 foot booths. Um, I built our booth in my garage 30 minutes up the way and I drove it down here in my truck, pull okay. it out, set it up. We don't do giant full page banner ads. You're not paying for a ton of marketing or hype. 
Um, we just want to build microphones. I'd rather spend that money on building another mic than anything else, because um, that's my favorite thing to do. It sounds like a lot of word of mouth, right? You've, you've yes. got people t talking about people I, who need people talking to other people about microphones. Absolutely. And, and yeah. another thing that's unique is we're not, we're not copying any old designs. We're not trying to be the, the next 67 that's $100 cheaper than the last one or whatever. Mm. We really just want to make great microphones that are original, sound original, and are as affordable as possible because more and more people are making hit records in their bedrooms. I was just at Sunset and on an AJR set session. I think they went platinum on something they recorded in their apartment in New York. Wow. So it's like, it's, it's, it's incredible what you can do now, but not everybody gets $50,000 to spend on microphones anymore. So you need a versatile, great sounding mic or a couple of them to make your record. Very, very cool. You know, so my show is all about uh, branding and marketing, which mm -hmm. is obviously the most exciting topic at NAMM for everyone yeah. to discuss. Cocktail parties, mm -hmm. you know, people are just talking about marketing. Uh, but so tell me about, you know, what your marketing mix is looking like for Vanguard, you know, and, and what's really working for you and what, you know, really hasn't mm -hmm. worked for you. You know, talk a little bit yeah. about that. So we kind of run lean and mean, like I was saying. Yeah. And as far as marketing goes, because we don't have the big giant budget of a lot of the larger companies, in order to get brand recognition, you really have to play like a guerrilla marketing game. That's what me and me and Ken call it, like guerrilla warfare. You know? Nice. Not guerrilla warfare. Like, yeah. But, um, yeah. So, so as far as marketing, one of my biggest platforms is Instagram. Okay. Um, and just being myself is a big thing. I think I'm okay, and every once in a while I tell a good joke that's not just a total dad joke. Nice. So I, I make a ton of memes, mostly about Pro Tools. They don't like me very much. <laughs> My latest one was a 10-year uh, challenge of uh, their crash report from 10 years ago and their crash report today. I'm kind of waiting for the cease and desist to come over from their booth. Um, you avoid their booth at NAMM. Yeah, I guess so. It's hard to. It's right there. I just kind of, you know. Yeah. Um, oh, that's the guy with the memes. Yeah, exactly. That's the meme guy. But uh, you know, I make make a ton of memes. Got in a meme war with Audio Hertz and Sonar Works and Isotope and a couple other guys. It was pretty fun. Nice. Um, and Instagram is really the best way for me to get stuff out. Doing Instagram and Facebook Live. Um, I used to do Twitter, but it wasn't really doing it for us because mm. um, Twitter is kind of this place to yell about your politics now more than anything yeah. else, unfortunately. Um, but Instagram and Facebook have been great for us, as well as endorsements. And like you said, just word of mouth. Endorsements, reviews, and word of mouth have really, really worked for us. But yeah. um, I feel like people really want, when they want to connect with a brand more nowadays and know the people behind it. Yeah. And NAM is a huge part of that because I'm meeting people like Boris that have been using our mics since we started. Mm -hmm. He has serial number like 60 or something. Wow. And, cool. And uh, this is the first time I've met him. So meeting people face to face, hanging out, talking shop, answering questions on Instagram, making a bunch of dad jokes, like way too many dad jokes. I don't even have kids and I make dad jokes. I'm horrified there you go. to think what happens when that finally comes around. <laughs> you know? Just don't wear your phone on your belt and you're in good shape. <laughs> you got socks with sandals? Maybe yes, a fanny pack? exactly. Exactly. My kids saved me from wearing my phone on my belt. And I look back at old pictures of me, I'm like, there's the phone. Oh, you had the holster, huh? I had the holster. Did you do the whole Western walk, you know? This... Uh, apparently, I had like the pleated pants and like the, yeah, and the whole phone on the holster. And oh I, my I've, gosh, I'm... you were a walking, talking meme. I was that. Oh, I, I was. I was all that. My, and my kids took me aside and said, Dad, it's time for an intervention. <laughs> we, we've got to discuss the friggin' phone on the belt, man. What's happening? I love how that's what interventions are now. They should really yes. just make a TV show about that instead of drugs, <laughs> like interventions for dads wearing like their Doc Martens and stuff. It's so true. It, it's so true, man. So what else do you guys, um, are, do you guys sponsor anything at the show or are you, uh, you, you prefer not to spend the budget dollars necessarily? Honestly, so the show is the most expensive marketing thing we do every year. We only sure. do one trade show because it's in our backyard. You guys don't do AES? I, I don't do AES because it's in New York. We, we were going to do it in L.A. when it was here, but they haven't been back in two or three years now. Yeah, yeah. Um, they so alternate. We, we yeah. really just do NAM. We might do NAM Nashville this year, um, the, the summer NAM, because we have sure. so many friends out there, and it'd be a lot of fun. And it's a smaller show, so maybe I won't lose my voice like this. You know? <laughs> I alternate between Barry White and, like, the kids serving you fries at the drive-thru, you know? Nice. Do you want sauce with that? So. <laughs> well, day four, man, everybody's voice is going oh, yeah. to be a little shaky. Yeah, it's going to be a, a, gonna be a little shaky. Uh, how's, the, how's the booth traffic been? You guys it's been pretty, fantastic. And, and you guys are over here in the yeah, north. Yeah, we're in, in ACC the north, north level one. We fought tooth and nail to get here. It nice. took a lot of uh, grinding to get it to happen. We were, we were in the arena the first year, uh, the arena annex the second year, and I said, you know what? 
it's time. So we banded together. We joined forces with two other small companies. Um, Flock yeah. Audio, they're making a digitally controlled analog patch bay that is going to rule the world. Cool. Um, patch bays are 150-year-old tech, and they're like, why are we still doing this with the wires and stuff? So yeah. you just drag and drop all your gear and do molts with a click of a button. It's amazing. And cool, I'm pitching man. their company because I really like Darren, and I really love what they're doing. If I wasn't doing this, I'd be working for Flock. Oh, I And then see. Audioscape, who is making some of the coolest retro outboard gear um, in, in the U.S., they build it all by hand. Um, so we joined forces, got a 30 by 10 booth and split it, and we're able to get into the good hall. So where the cool kids are, you know. Yeah, you are. Yeah, absolutely are. And, uh, and then the show's been going good for you? Show's been going really good, as you can what, tell with the voice. What's, uh, what's on the horizon for you guys in terms of future products? I mean, these are what you're showing this year. What, what's the roadmap look like? Well, we try not to reveal too much because oh, it do kind it right of changes... Right here. As it goes, so we tend to, like, this isn't even out. NAM stands for not available, maybe March, okay, um, is what go. the joke I've been told. Um, and this one's not even out yet. This is um, our first generation prototype. We plugged it in the first time and just went, holy smokes. We're using a transformer the size of your fist. We're nice. using capacitors the size of the palm of your hand. We're just going all out on the internal components. $20 etched foil resistors, lowest noise resistors in the world. It's a, it's a heck of a mic. I am really excited, and this is really the one that's on the horizon. So, well, it looks really cool, and and, and uh, you know, I mean, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of good things from you guys in the future too, which is pretty, which is pretty exciting. We try and innovate, man, and for a very forward-looking industry. Um, generally, the music industry is thought of forward-thinking and progressive um, on a number of fronts, but we look backwards for all our gear, and I just don't really understand why. Now, there is some great gear made back then. But I think if we look backwards too much, we're not busy innovating. And music, huh. music itself, which is why we all do this, right? That's what this is about. Yeah. For all the marketing and branding and microphones and stuff like that, we're all musicians. We all love music. That's why we're here. We, we, we look backwards so much for our gear when we're trying to move forwards. So we're trying yeah. to move forwards and do something different and not just be the, the next person trying to pretend to be a 47. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Like, um, you know, sometimes people accuse the music products industry of not having uh, a ton of innova innovation, you know, innovation. Yeah. And so it's like, they'll say like, oh, oh, now this guitar comes in blue, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, look, we're innovative this year. Yeah. Last, last year was just in it's, white. It's, I mean, and innovation is hard. This was really hard. This has four printed circuit boards sure. that I had to jumble together. And there's two at a right angle and there's one standing off so that we could get the knob and even just fitting the transformer in there. I like to put jokes on all my printed circuit boards because I'm doing a silk screen anyway. Okay. So underneath the transformer I printed, um, we can definitely fit this giant transformer in, we said foolishly, signed Ken and Derek. Um, oh, that's kind of There's fun. an Albus Dumbledore quote inside this one, hard nice. to find, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of a geek, so I, I like to do that in all my mics. And, and That's yeah, awesome. we just try and innovate and push forward, but it's really hard. It's so much easier just to try and do what the last guy did. Um, and I get that, mm -hmm. but innovation takes work, but I think it really pays off because when you innovate, yeah. people, people are excited about it. Yeah, darn right. Well, tell me about the brand a little bit. You know, the show, my show's about branding. Mm -hmm. So what, what's the Vanguard brand uh, stand for? What are you guys trying to, uh, you know, where are you trying to position yourself? Who are you trying to be? Well, our, our, our motto that we kind of came up with this year is, is professional, affordable, and original. And I think those mm. three things really sum it up. We want to do pro gear. We want to do stuff that sounds absolutely amazing. And the records that these have been on, um, some of Gwyn's records, uh, Vinny, I can never say his last name, the drummer, Kali, 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 that guy. That guy. Been on his records. Steve nice. Lindsay and Gabe Veltri told us. Alex Acuna, his, the world famous percussionist, his record. Um, so we're trying to make stuff that is competing or you know, owning the best in the world that can be used to make great music. Once again, that's the point of this. As far as affordability, we talked about that. So many people want a great mic and don't want a mic they have to beat to death in the mix. You got a plug-in chain just as long as your leg. Yeah. Um, and that's really frustrating because it's taking time out of your creativity. You're correcting instead of just getting the thing right to tape and moving on to the next thing, you know? So yeah. that's a huge time saver. And engineers, everybody's charging you know, flat rates now, not by the hour. Um, so that's a whole thing. Yeah. And the more time you can save with a great tool, but people can't afford the great tools because they're paying so much for them. Like nobody has fifty thousand dollars for a mic mic budget anymore, or not a lot of us do. Very and, true. And so the affordability and then the originality. I just I'd be bored if I was tracing somebody else's stuff on paper. You know, I 
I want to do original stuff because that excites me. Creativity. Music is about creativity. Yeah. Um, my favorite gigs aren't cover gigs, though those are fun. I like original music, you know, yeah. and creating original things. And since I'm not a great musician, I'm a mediocre bassist, I'm a decent engineer, but we found out we're really good at mics, and this is the best way I can contribute. You're a bass player. I've been speaking way too fast. No, uh, just, just said the fellow bass player. There you go, exactly. That's what I was used to in my joke uh, when I when I when I go in. I say, I go, just speak slowly. All bass players here, you know. I, I tell people I'm a bass player, so we can only talk about one note at a time. There you go, one note at a time, one note yes. at a time. Well, what are your other? Uh, yeah, and you guys are based here in LA, so this is this this shows yeah. a hop, skip, and a jump for you. Oh yeah, 30 minutes up the road, Upland, California, just on the edge of LA County and San Bernardino County. Nice, nice. And do you do you go to a lot of um, a, a lot of recording sessions yourself? I imagine. I try a lot in of the LA. times. I'm in the office, been over the soldering yard, or doing the accounting and all the boring stuff. But I've really tried this year to get out to Los Angeles at least once or twice a month, and go to a real session. Go yeah. meet somebody I haven't met yet. Cool. Go demo a mic, and just remember why I do that. I hit record on a session as the lead engineer for the first time in about a year, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And I was like, oh, right, this is why I do all the frustrating, why doesn't this fit together, how do we make this work, Yeah, you know, all the boring inventory stuff. This is why I do it, because music is awesome. Well, everybody in uh, interweb land, where can they find out more about Vanguard Audio Labs? So we're on Instagram as at Vanguard Audio Labs. That's where you can find the memes that I'm going to get sued for. Um, and also <laughs> VanguardAudioLabs.com. Um, we've got a SoundCloud as well as links to high resolution demo files. We're going to be doing a lot more video stuff on YouTube. I actually have to start a YouTube channel. I've been using my personal one. Nice. Um, so um, we're doing a lot more video work this year because I think that's a blast. We're going to do a string quartet, a jazz trio, a bunch of fun stuff with just our mics. Good man. Well, you guys have been listening to Derek from Vanguard Audio Labs. This is Scott Robertson with May the Best Brand Win on InterTalk Media. Signing off. You guys have a great day out there. Thanks so much, Scott. Thanks. Have a good one, guys.